Okay, everybody. Um, so today we're going to talk about parabolas. Okay, so our objective, we're talking about graphing. Hopefully you have this. Hopefully this has been pra passed out to you. We're talking about graphing parabolas. And go ahead and pause the video anytime. Just ask, please. So parabolas kind of look like this. I'm just going to give you a basic sketch, and then we're going to take a look at making them look much better. But parabolas, x, y axis, parabolas look like this. They look like smiley faces or frowny faces, but this is a parabola. See how it curves like that? It's not straight at all. Parabolas come from x squared equations. All right? So, here we go, y equals x squared. This, when we graph this, this, this will be our parent function, which is our basic function, parent function. And this will be the main one that we will then move, change, do all sorts of things with it. But the main one starts here, OK? So this is x squared. We're going to square numbers. So I made a little t table here. And we're going to plug in all of these numbers. We're going to plug in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to plug in negative 1, plug in negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So we're just going to plug them in for squared. So we're going to say, okay, if I plug it in, I'm going to square it. Okay, so listen carefully. If I plug in 0. 0 squared, 0 times 0 is 0. If I plug in 1, 1 times 1 is 1, or 1 squared is 1. If I plug in 2, a 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. If I plug in 3, 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. If I plug in 4, 4 squared, or 4 times 4 is 16. Now with the negatives, we have to remember that a negative times a negative is a positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. So if I plug in negative 1, I'll have negative 1 squared, which is negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. If I plug in negative 2, negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. If I plug in negative 3, I've got negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. And if I plug in negative 4, negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16. Okay, so these are points, x, y points. I got point 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, 4, 16, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 4, negative 3, 9, and negative 4, 16. So I'm going to graph those on my x, y axis. All right, well, that's pretty easy. Um, start with 0, 0. That's right there at the origin. Well, let me grab a pen that has different color. All right, here we go. I'll do it in blue. So 0, 0. Well, that's easy. That's right here at the origin. 1, 1. I go over 1, up 1. Too far, I go over 2. And I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Over 3. 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 416 is kind of off my chart. It's way up here somewhere. Okay, it's up there. Now when I do the negatives, I'll go negative 1 on the x and positive 1 on the y. It's right there. If I go negative 2 on the x, positive 4 on the y, it goes right there. Negative 3 on the 9, I'm sorry, negative 3 on the x and positive 9 on the y, it goes there. And then 416 is probably way up here. So anyway, here's what my parabola looks like. Okay. Exactly kind of like that shape right there. That's a parabola in x squared. Okay. Now, domain or range? Well, domain is forever wide. Domain is just going to be x equals all real numbers. Think about this. You can plug any number in you want. Any number you want. It's always going to work. Okay. Or this graph, even though it's going up, it's always going to work. Now the range is different because there's no values down here. There's no there gra there's no graph here, so the domain or sorry the range is going to be y is greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Example two, what we're going to do is we're going to take this function, this graph right here, and we're just going to bring it down to negative four. That's all we do. Is take this function, bring it down to negative four, and we'll do the same thing. So we take and start from negative 0, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I want to do the same thing. I'm going to do the t table, but we're going to kind of do it from here, okay? 
I do this t table, so if I go over 1, 1 squared is 1. Okay, I'm just doing this whole graph down here, just shifted it down. If I go over 2, 2 squared is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, again, I'm taking this graph, bring it down here. If I go over 3, 3 squared is 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 4 is off the graph. So now, we know from this picture that a parabola is symmetrical. Okay, so we can do the other points by just folding over this line of symmetry. So this point folds over here, this point folds over here, and this point folds over here because of symmetry. Okay, parabola is always symmetrical with its line of symmetry. Okay, good. There it is. Now, domain range. Well, the domain has not changed. The domain is still x equals all real numbers. But the range is different because it starts way down here at negative 4. y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Okay, good. Okay, example 3. All we're going to do is take our parent function. We're going to move it up 2. We're just going to take our graph and move it up 1, 2. That's all we're going to do. Again, if this gets going too fast, pause the video. But I'm going to do this one. I'm going to take this parent function. I'm going to move it up 2. So I'm going to start at point zero two. Okay? Start there. Start at 0, 2. Okay, because I'm going to bring it up 2. Now, I'm still going to do these numbers. I'm going to go, okay, well, I'm going to take this graph, put it here. I'm going to go over 1. 1 squared is 1. Then I'm going to go over 2. 2 squared is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll go over 3. 3 squared is 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, I'm not going to do 4 and 16. It's just too big. I do know also it's symmetrical. I'm going to fold over my graph over the line of symmetry. And I have these points right here. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Okay, these graphs have x and y intercepts. Um, this is an x, these are the x intercepts. And this is my, obviously, my y intercept on all of these. Okay. Okay, I'll turn the page in a minute. Go ahead and pause the video anytime you want to pause the video, and I will continue. Okay? All right. On the back side. Okay, we've done this with absolute values. Anything on the inside is going to be either to move it, it's going to be to move it horizontally. So we're going to move it to the left or the right. But the opposite, remember, it's going to be the opposite. So we're going to take this graph, our parabola. Remember, it looked like this. Here's our main parabola. It looked like this. And we're going to take this particular parabola, and we're going to move it to the right 3. All right, so that means the parabola is going to start right here. Okay, so I just shifted the whole parabola. This parabola just went to the right 3. And then I'm going to graph the same way I've been doing it. I'm going to go and do my over 1. 1 squared is 1. Over 2. 2, 2 squared is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 3, 3 squared is 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? Now, the line of symmetry is always at the vertex, that's here, so it folds right along its vertex, so I will then fold it here, here, and here, okay? Has a y intercept up here at 0, 0,9 and has an x intercept at 3, 0. Okay, now domain range. Well, domain and range are going to be the same as before. Domain is going to be, of course, all real numbers. Because it's forever wide, it really, even though it's going up, it's always moving over. Plus, you can plug anything you want in. So x is going to be all real numbers. But the range, starts at a height of 0, height of 0, and goes up. Height of 0 goes up, so the range is y is greater than or equal to 0. Okay? Last example. We're going to still take our parabola, this shape, but we're going to take it to the left 1 and down Four, okay, just like we did our absolute values. We're just translating our main graph, this main graph right here, our 
parent function, but we're going to take it left one and down four. So our vertex, that's called a vertex, that's that bottom point, is at negative one, negative four, okay? And then from here, we're going to take this shape and put it here. Take this exact shape right here. We're going to go over one, up one, right? Over two, two squared is four, because we're squared up, two squared is four, so we're going to go up one, two, three, four. From here, we're going to go over three, 3 squared is 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? Again, it has a line of symmetry right down the middle. Here, here, and here. All right, domain and range. Domain, again, is x equals all real number, which it always will be. Somebody's going to say, is it always all real numbers? Yes, because you can plug in any number for the value of x, you can square it up. Now the range is different, has a height of has a height of negative four, negative four, and then it goes up. So it's gonna be the range is y is greater than or equal to negative four. Okay, that's all I have. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be here Monday. I'll see you guys. Um, go ahead and get the homework done and do your math yet, and I will see you, okay?